once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so lame You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erased So catch me if I fall Good afternoon, this is Dr. Awa, your favorite travel vlogger. I'm right here in Douala, Cameroon, and I'm about to show you guys how they prepare the favorite Cameroonian dish. Follow me. And this is cowfish. That's Okay, guys, I'm opening the pot right now, and I'm going to be staring the So you see, this is um, water leaf, and actually this is arrow. So we combine the water leaf and the arrow to prepare the delicious dish. I'm telling you guys. This is one of the, uh, this is one of like the most finest Cameroonian dishes. I mean, you eat this in every single town in Cameroon. You go to Duwala, you go to Yaounde, Kumba, Boya, Limbe, Bolo, yeah, everywhere, everywhere. Ufa and Euro is a delicacy. And I heard it has actually extended all the way to Nigeria. I think Nigerians call this Okazi. And this is water leaf. So we're going to be using the water leaf today. And we're going to be using the, the Euro the arrow actually to make the sauce which is known as the arrow soup and guess what we are going to be eating it today with either fufu or garlic look at that you see that is the that is the arrow you see she's already getting the arrow ready she's going to be washing the arrow right now And it's coming in, in several parts because that's the way they got it from the market. Aero, Aero originally is just in the form of a leaf and then they have to trim it to get to this stage. So the part she's having is uh, the, bag, the, the plastic bag that she from the market. So you see that's the Aero in there. They're going to wash it now and then they're going to use it alongside with uh, the... I'm already feeling so hungry and we're going to be eating this delicious food together. Look at my stomach. I didn't take breakfast today. I didn't take anything. Guess what? Guess what? I didn't eat anything today because I'm so eager, I'm so happy to eat this food. And for you guys, my viewers, you will just see that in comfort of your room and enjoy this delicacy with me today. Look at that, it's going through the washing process right now. She's actually washing it. Thank you. 
So guys, guess what? Guess the source of energy that mom is using today. She's using this. It's locally known as a sawdust pot. I hope I'm correct. Yes, it's a uh, yeah sawdust, like it says, you know. Um, that's what she's using, and then that's the pot so in the fire, and then um, uh, we use the wood to put it in. I use that because it's a colonial. Okay. You had one more to say? Gas. You don't take gas. <laughs> and this big one of this kind of oh, gas. gas. How so, do you... with this one, if it will come for free now, it will start out. Okay. Mommy, did you tell me to chop with the top of the side? You chop with the top of the side. That's not true. That's not true. How are you going to go? Okay, you heard what mom said. Mom said she uses this because uh, she's doing it for business and it's more economical for her to uh, use the sawdust pot. And then also, it's uh, more stable. The stability is what also um, encourages her to use it because it's, look at the size of the pot. See how big this pot is. If you put this pot on a, you know, on, 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 on the stove or a gas cooker, it will be very difficult for her to um, fit this pot on it. So this is very comfortable for her. And guess what? I just asked her a question. There was this uh, common belief. Uh, it's believed that food that has been prepared on um, the fireside or is being prepared in the sawdust tastes better than the one that's been used on a gas cooker and I just asked mom that a few minutes ago guess what she said she said that's for true that's a fact I don't know how true that is but maybe my viewers can you know leave a comment under there let's tell me how true that is I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure about it you know it's a local belief so now you see that it's been powered by some wood and then when it goes off, somebody's just asking for my Instagram handle. Guess what? I'm going to give out my Instagram, my Facebook, and my uh, Instagram, Facebook, and my YouTube. And guess what? This is somebody asking in Cameroon. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click the like button. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Somebody. Guess what? Ask someone right now. One plus subscriber. Yes. Just do it. This is it. Travel with Dr. Awa. So, thank you. So, we have one more subscriber. Actually, like I said, it's our Mama is doing it the right way. Wow. So right now she's breaking the snails. This is a process of washing it. Look at that.
right now she's putting some crayfish inside. I guess it looks like um, a look like called stream or something, but uh, uh, what call it after all crayfish. So she's putting some crayfish in it. Putting in some uh, palm oil in it. As wood, you know, some form of energy to burn, uh, you know, and uh, generate energy. See, look at that. Wow, guys, guess what? I have Hero here and I have Fufu. This is original. Okay, guys, okay, guys, we are just done preparing the Hero, and right now I'm getting on the bike and we're actually going to eat the Hero right now. So we left the house where it's been prepared and we are going to the restaurant where it's been served. And guess what? I'm hungry. I can't wait to eat my hero. Okay guys, I'm getting on the bike right now. Over there, Jojo, he's a photographer, so he's hopefully going to stay there while he's waiting for us. Oh, he's keeping us. Mm. Very interesting. Wow. 
It's amazing. So I'm done eating today. It's a nice meal. I'm hoping that uh, we'll be here to some other time. See, as, as you can see, everybody, everybody is excited and they did enjoy their meal. Okay. It's, uh, it's fantastic. So we love the experience. And okay, I guess it's the end of the day today. Guys, can be this right? This is so nice. Once more guys, I'm right here. 
here in Douala, Cameroon. I'm having an amazing time. I'm enjoying my food. And on the right, the left side of my house, plum. And I do, I do like plum, obviously. So I have plum and I have plantain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. thank you very much, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I have plum and I have plantain. And mm, it's just coming from the fire. So you see, it's still very hot. Once guys, once more guys, this is street food life in Duala Cameroon. I'm showing you guys um, what it looks like to eat on the streets in um, the streets of Cameroon, specifically this is the streets of Duala and once more I have cartes, I have plum, I have cartes, I have plum. Yeah. You see, you see my just